What's up guys, Rob here and welcome back to Banjo Kazooie. This is part four of uh, the Let's Play. And in this episode, we're gonna take on the next level, which is right up here. Uh, a little recap, last episode we got, uh, we finished Treasure Trove Cove. We got all 10 Jiggies and all 100 Notes and, and, uh, bo and both uh, Honeycomb pieces. Uh, and now that we've gotten the, uh, whatever, the little slingy ability thingy here that you can bend your legs the wrong way, we can now jump up here and we can uh, get to this new little painting here. I'm gonna press right trigger to, uh, or not right, left trigger, or a trigger, can I, I have to put one piece in and then right trigger, right? I guess I it's not working. Oh, okay, it it's telling right now. If you wanna place all the pieces in the picture, just press the right trigger. All right, there you go, now I can do it. And then we're gonna unlock Clan Kerns, Clan Kern, Clan Kerns, Clan Kerns Cavern, which is the uh, level we're doing this episode. And uh, I gotta say, this is one of the most, uh, it's one of my least favorite uh, levels. Uh, I love the, whole, the entire game. So the thing is, I just don't like because there's a lot of swimming, and I I don't like the swimming mechanics mechanics in this game. I don't know. Um, I'll still. I mean, I'm still gonna play the game. It's a fantastic game. Uh, now the thing is, I cannot remember if we went through here. I think we just went straight to Treasure Trove Cove, so we we missed a little uh whatever it's in here. Yeah, so there's a, there's another cauldron here. Uh, this is gonna be the reddish one. We we activated. I think it was like a purple one, right? Uh, back in, um, near Treasure Trove Cove. But, uh, now that that's done, we can actually head on to the level, and the level's gonna be right up here. So I can do a little, uh, swing, black flip, black flip, black flip, back flip. Uh, yeah, I don't know where that came from. Anyways, uh, so you're gonna come to this little sewer area, and what you wanna do is you wanna, yeah, you wanna s not, not swim across, but over here's gonna be a little, uh, switch. You wanna ground pound it, or beak bust it, wherever the move skull. I always forget the name. There's so many moves that I just do not remember the names. I just call them by like the generic term, you know, like that's uh, what you call it. That's uh, that's ground ground pound. That's like peck or peck, you know, just like generic names because you know big buster. That's like that's that's like the only move I'll ever remember. And there's gonna be another stream here that you can uh, activate to go up there and get something else. But uh, I think that's it. I think I can actually. There's a mumbo token up here, and I think I want to. I think I can get it from here. Yes, I can. This mumbo token. There you go. Ikan poco. Ikan poco. Uh, do I need health? I don't think I do because I just started the game. All right, just one for the good go. All right, so let's go to Clanker's Cavern. So again, a hundred uh, notes, ten jiggies, and whatnot. Just the one you move to find this time, but it's hidden. It's hidden well. It is quite hidden. And uh, again, as Bottle said, and I'm gonna repeat what he said. There's one. Oh, there's only one move in this uh, world. So you know, it's not that bad. You know, it's uh. It's a really, it's a really uh, powerful move though, and uh, we'll see, uh, we'll see how to use it in a second. So first thing you want to do, not do that. You want to uh, backflip up here or swing. Now you see those little, uh, little uh, like openings here in the little wall here. Monsters are gonna pop out of them, so just be careful of those because if they hit you, they will definitely knock you off. So either wait for them to come out and then peck peck them, or uh, there's some pros that just walk to to them. Now this right here is a golden feather, and uh, or a, is it a golden feather? It's an lucky you. I'm an invulnerability feather. That's a really hard word to say, but uh, that is going to have to do with the uh, uh, the new move we're gonna learn in this world. But yeah, I just call them golden feathers because you know invul invulnerability feather. Yeah, that's a pretty hard word for me. I mean, you know, my tongue is not the best. It doesn't always help me. And, uh, so this is like the little main. Like it's, this is the first room. This is like not the main room you could say, but you do get a, a couple notes and you do get a ginger here. So that's that. Ginger. All right. Uh, next thing you want to do, it's uh, swim. You, as you can see, down. Oh, is there, is there, uh, there's, those are eggs. My bad. Down here, it's gonna be a little uh, pipe there that's gonna have a bunch of notes, which means, of course, that's the way to go. Now, again, uh, as I'll repeat again, I do not like the swim mechanics. The, sw the swim mechanics, especially right now, because uh, we're right now where we're gonna go. We're gonna depend on um, on air. Bzz, I am clanker, which is garbage grinder. Clanker, not like cl dirty water. Want fresh air. So that is a little buddy clanker knife. You see me like, whoa, bro, you're like a super huge heart shark, Hark. He's gonna kill me. No, he's a he's a nice guy. He's a, he's had some problems. He has some troubles, you know, uh, problems. You know, he has a he doesn't really get fresh air nowadays. Uh, but we'll help him with that. So clanker, this is clanker. Now, uh, as you can see, there's a lot of swimming in this level. And the first thing you want to do is come all the way down to where his chain is leading to. And there's a couple notes and a ginger down here. And of course, uh, we're gonna release him. Now down here we're gonna meet a, a, a guy named uh, Goobles or Gobbles or so I, I cannot remember what his name is. And of course the camera angle is not helping me as well. Uh, where is that? Oh my God! I, I hear I hear you, Ginger. 
I just, okay. So there's a guy right here. He's going to be the savior of your life. Oh my god, I swear this. I, I'm going to probably drown here. So these little bubbles, those give you air. So make sure you grab those to survive down here. Now this guy hasn't introduced himself, which is uh, quite interesting. Because he usually like, does it like as soon as I grab the first one. And he should do it right now. There you go. Hi, I am. Oh, his name is Gloop. Grab my bubbles if you want. If you're low on air. So that's what he does. He's going to be the guy that gives you air if you're down here. Uh, and I missed that note. And that, I'm going to regret that later. So again, this part is really... Oh, don't miss it. No, 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 no. All right. So this part is really tedious. So that's pretty much it. And like down here, there's a note and, uh, and a Jinjo. So I'm just going to speed up so I can get until I, I get all of that stuff. All right, so now that you want to, that you've collected all the notes and all the gingers down here, well, the one ginger, you want to make sure you stock up on some air before you do the next thing, because you know you want to have enough air to do this thing. Now those bubbles, if they do go up uh, high enough, they will disappear. So just you know, heads up if you're like, oh, I'll just chase that bubble. No, don't, don't. If it goes too up in the uh, too far up, just don't bother going for it. All right, so you're gonna see this little key thing right here. What you want to do is fly through it three times. And I don't know how you're supposed to figure out this out, but you know you're supposed to do that. And what this is going to do is going to, uh, like, unlock Clanker's uh, chain, and that's going to release it, uh, release him from his uh, little imprisonment here. Now, if you don't know how I'm, because uh, I've, uh, I've noticed, um, if you don't know how I'm turning so fast, like, uh, well, okay, we're going to free Clanker, of course, and he's going to be like, thank you, buddy, or something like that. And uh, he's going to get fresh air from his uh, really nasty, dirty water. Look at that, that looks disgusting. Ugh. It has, like, ugh, it just doesn't look, uh, you know, healthy. Clanker is fresh air. You find reward on Clanker's back. Anyways, so if you can see, I, I'm turning like, well, I'm turning a little bit faster than I do with the uh, regular uh, joystick or stick or the left stick. I was going to call it a joystick. The way I do it is by using the right and left bumper, which is, uh, it also uh, works when you're flying. So heads up, you know, little tip, uh, little tip tip there for your, your buddy Rob. All right, so let's... um. Over here, uh, on top of Clanker is where we're going to find our first Jiggy of the level. So let's backflip onto his back, and a bunch of notes, of course. And the first Jiggy is going to be right up her. And, uh, eh, okay, not, didn't work out pretty well there. Let's get Kazooie out, actually. Uh, let's get all the notes first, or not. Let's not get any notes at all. Uh, and, okay, we got the Jiggy, there you go. Uh, I, pra I, I, I have a, a backup file, so I play the game every time. Uh, bzz, Clanker's teeth hurt now. Eat too much garbage. Help Clanker. Uh, I do play the game, uh, the level before I do the Let's Play, just so I know where everything is, and I, I'm, I don't spend half an hour looking for uh, a thing like I did in uh, Treasure Trove Cove. So you know, you're welcome. No, I'm just kidding. But I do, I do, I did play this level earlier today uh, in like uh, the third uh, save file. Um, so you know, hopefully I can remember everything. So you want to climb uh, Clanker's tail, and up here is gonna be a little uh, red, a bunch of red feathers that you can, you know, if you're if you're low on red feathers, you can grab them. I don't do that. And uh, you're gonna see a jiggy, and the way to open this is, I think, by uh, I think I, I just peck it, right? Yeah, I just peck it. But I think you can actually do uh, use um, X to shoot at it, and it will open. But I just peck it. Now, that's my preference. Uh, we got two. We need eight more. And down here is gonna be a bunch of uh, a bunch of jiggies. And by jiggies, I mean definitely mean musical notes. Uh, I lost my track of thought. Let's wait for this guy to come out again. And, and every single one you see, uh, there will be one of those guys. So you know, watch out for those things. Every, but once you kill it, it's gone for good, so, you know, you can always uh, run past it. And they won't respawn, so, unless you exit the level, I think. Oh, all right, I don't want to, I don't want the camera messing me up again. So, uh, if, we, if we're paying attention to the story, uh, Clanker didn't, did mention that his teeth were hurting. So, let's go check out on his, on his teeth. Uh, so, what you want to do is go all the way to the front of Clanker, of Clanker Clanker. And as you can see, he's going to have a, 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 a golden tooth, that you'll see right there. You can, it's very visible. What you want to do is you want to shoot X towards it, and uh, three X should do the work. And from then on, you can just hop in, and uh, you'll be inside Clanker. You got a mumbo, uh, an Ikamboko, Ikamboko, or a, or a token. Uh, but there is another golden tooth uh, that we have to break over here, and that's going to give us a jiggy. So over here, hop in the little same thing. Let's aim the camera towards it. Let's wait for the little, let's wait for Clanker to get uh, leveled up again, so we can boom, 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 boom. Oh, I didn't even get a single one. I come on. I didn't give it. I didn't get a single one. All right, hold up. I got this. I got this. I got this. I got this. Oh, boom, boom, boom. No. I got one. There you go. All right. 
And now in here, it's going to be a jiggy. And there you go. Oh yeah, I want to thank. Oh, okay, I want to thank you guys for uh, helping me reach 300 subscribers. It's a little bit late. I think I'm at like a 314, 313, something like that. That is insane. That is a lot of subscribers. And I want to thank you all guys for helping me reach that goal, which I'm very happy about. And really, uh, it really you know motivates me to keep going making these feeds. And you know, shows me that you guys are actually enjoying my content. And I'm getting a lot of comments from new people saying that I enjoyed your video. And uh, you know, every time if you call, if you comment that, be sure that I will respond because I respond to every single one of my comments. So thank you guys. So anyways, there is uh, a bunch of a bunch of musical notes you can collect there. So just just use banjo to get them. And then down here, you're pretty much inside of a, oh, watch out with those little tentacle thingies that I don't like calling them that, but they will definitely hurt you. And I think I took the wrong path, and I nope. All right, got it. All right, so this is a little bit of a, a puzzle. Well, it's kind of like a little challenge over here. You see a bunch of rings, right? You you can probably you can probably guess what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to go through them. So uh, of course the first one we're gonna go through is the green one. You're supposed to follow the green one. You, you get 48 seconds to do them. So it's uh and then the one's gonna be the one on the bottom. So you pretty much just want to follow the uh, the green. Uh, rings. Now this is the tricky one. That's the one that I, I always miss. Hopefully I got it there the first time. Like on my on my uh, practice run, I got I didn't I almost didn't make it. Uh, but hopefully this won't happen uh, on this on the real on the real time. Yeah, I have actually a pretty good time. Oh, I'm gonna make it like with like pff, like 15 seconds extra the first time I did it. And that's all there is to it. Like in this little main area. But once you get it, you will get a. Uh, the water race is gonna, uh, the water is gonna race, or the, level, the water level is gonna race, and you'll be able to get that jiggy. So that's pretty much your reward for this little challenge over here. So let's climb up here. Oh, can I make it up there? I right know. Boop. There we go. That's gonna be our fourth jiggy where you have six to go, and still a bunch of notes to get. All right. So now from here you can go two different ways. You can either go right or left, uh, and I'm gonna go left first from where I'm looking at, so towards there. And uh, those golden feathers we're gonna. Meet bottles in a second, and he'll tell us what to do. Oh, this guy, he's gonna give us health. I don't, I don't think I need health, though. So down here, it's gonna be a, a, hit, a, a ginger all the way out of the bottom of this little hidden uh, uh, little holder. Watch out with the little, uh, you know, tentacly thing. I don't know what to call those, fillingery thingies. Now, I don't know whether there's, I think the, the, the music, the villain music is because of the, uh, again, of those little tentacle thingies. I don't want, I don't know what to call them. Uh, fillingery thingies, there you go. That's, well, I, I think I've been calling those that. But, um, uh, yeah, um, uh, he completely, I'm losing my, I'm losing my, uh, my track of thought. Okay, so, uh, the reason why I didn't go, no, 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 oh, damn it, I exited, I exited it. Okay, so I did miss, I did miss a note there, and you cannot go back through there. So, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna go straight, I'm gonna head straight back to there, and I'll meet you guys when I'm at the, at the note. All right, there we go, so I got the, I got the, the the note that I was missing, but again, those two exits will lead you out of Clanker, so you know, keep that in mind. Uh, I was, gonna, I was gonna say, I think that's everything inside Clanker, but no, I was wrong. Now, if you go uh, up to his back again, you're gonna see his little, uh, like where he, like I don't know what these things are called, but you wanna hop on it when the uh, the little um, middle part is there, and there's gonna be a bunch of musical notes and a jig at the end. And if you fall like I did, you'll feel really stupid, but uh, easily you can get back up there, so don't worry about that. Just be really careful, cause uh, again, you don't want to fall like I did. Now you can't like jump from jiggy to jiggy. If I jiggy, I mean, I, I, I keep confusing uh, jiggies with musical notes. Uh, you can't jump from musical note to musical note, but I just try. I keep. I try to play it safe, and every time I try to play it safe, I will fall off. So I guess you just go from <laughs> musical note from music to musical note. There you go. We're halfway done with the jiggies for this world. So as you can see, I'm just gonna fly back, cause I really don't care if I fall. Oh, I did. I just. I did lose health. So the next thing what you want to do, you want to wait for this thing to go all the way up. And then you want to fall into the hole that it leaves open. And in here, you're going to find the Gruntilda little um, switch that you're supposed to get. And uh, that's going to open. Well, no, it's going to pop a jig. It's going to open her eyes. I don't know where this leads. I don't want to find out. <laughs> anyway, so you want to be careful here. There's a bunch of little uh, like blades swinging by. So just make sure. Uh, I usually just run. I don't care if I get hurt. I usually don't get hurt. Uh, I was going to say, I was going to be a perfect round. I got hurt twice. That's not good. But we did get a jiggy. So was it worth it? Yes, it was. Now we need four more jiggies to get, and uh, I think we're like I think a little bit over 50 uh, musical notes. All right, now after that you, you do that, uh, you can uh, you'll get this little flying pad, and as you can see, we're back inside of uh, of, uh, of Clanker's stomach or whatever this part is. And you want to do next is go to the hole that you were not able to reach before. You're gonna find a, a golden feather, and of course a entrance to this huge thing that you, of course you cannot 
pass through, but luckily, Mr. Bottles is here to teach us our new move and only move in this world. This move uses beak, uh, b bam, what? Uh, something about her, her wings. Cool, does it make me invulnerable? Sure it does. Hold the right or left trigger and push the right stick right. Keep it the right or left trigger held and use the left stick to move around. Use it wisely though, as this move requires the gold feathers and you can only carry 10 of them. Here, take these five bull bull valuable gold feathers and he's gonna restore my health like a nice guy he is. So again, what you're supposed to do, uh, this little invulnerability ability, or golden feather thing, it's gonna make you, as the name suggests, not being able to hit. So what you want to do, it's uh, right trigger or left trigger, and then just move the right stick and just do that. And uh, just walk and you won't get hit. And of course the music is amazing. And uh, when you get your destination, just stop uh, just uh, stop pressing the right, right or left trigger and you'll be good to go. Alright, we've got seven uh, jiggies. Now we need three more. Uh, but yeah, as, as Bottle says, the uh, golden feathers uh, will... Uh, um, What's the word? Progressively start, uh, I guess, going away. You'll, be, you'll start using your golden feathers. Uh, so you know, be careful with them. They're pretty. They're pretty. Uh, uh, so pretty. A lot of. Uh, pretty big number of uh, golden feathers. They're not like as rare as uh, as bottles makes them look like. Uh, but still, you know, you know, uh, they're pretty rare. I mean, they're definitely uh, more rare than red feathers. You know. All right. So now we need three more. Jiggies to get in this world, and we're actually doing pretty amazing in time, not gonna lie. Alright, the next thing we're gonna do, it's right here where the little uh, life is. Uh, you're gonna get the life, but actually, oh, I forgot that, see, again, so, I always forget those things exist, so, you know, always be careful when those things pop. Something that I forgot to do, it's down here, in this little half pipe. Uh, let's see if I can make it. Uh, up is gonna be one of them, uh, one of the honeycomb pieces, so, just try to make it up there. Hopefully, I can, see, it's right there. Uh, no, 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 that way, there you go. See that little right bumper, left bumper uh, technique does help a lot. Especially when in areas like this come close, you can just do that, and you'll get it. Now be careful, there is no air in that little uh, uh, pipe, so you know, make sure that you have full air, so you don't die by an accident. Alright, now that's all, let's hop on this thing, on the little fling before it goes back to the ocean, and we make it, awesome. Alright, so we're gonna go, we can pick two directions, let's go left first. So, uh, go to the left, and there's gonna be a little pull that you can climb. And, uh, you can hear this little ginger calling for us, and we'll get him in a second. Uh, and, oh, unless you fall like I did. Okay, I do feel pretty stupid when I fall like that. But, uh, then I say I'm bad at platform games, and I, for some reason, expect that you guys will be like, Okay, he's bad at platform games. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm really bad at platforming games. I'm bad at games in general. I don't know why I make Let's Plays. I just have fun recording and talking to the camera, or to the game, I guess. But I'm bad at games, guys. I'm bad. <laughs> Anyways, hopefully I won't fall this time. All right, now be careful here. Uh, let's pull out Banjo and let's see if we can get all the notes without falling. Good job. Back up here, uh, there's a little uh, hole here that you can uh, beak bust through and it's gonna be a Jinjo here. And uh, Jinjo! And there's gonna be a bunch of things like here, uh, or not. That's, I think, what, so that's the fourth Jinjo, I wanna say? Fourth or third, one of, one of those. And there's eggs down the tunnel, so, you know, uh, actually, no, let's not do that. Uh, we're gonna get the next honeycomb. Oh, can I get out of here? Nope, I have to backflip, I guess. There you go. So down here, on the other little end of this thing. Oh, yeah, uh, all right. Don't do that. All right, so what you're just supposed to do, you're, what you're supposed to do, you use Kazooie so you don't fall down all the way. Anyway, you're gonna, uh, again, uh, ground pound here, and you'll get the last honeycomb piece, and we'll get an extra, uh, health slot so amazing uh, amazing so that's done with the left area of the little jumpy pad here now we're gonna go to the right side and uh, I think it's gonna be musical notes I think or uh, something I don't know I actually I can't remember what's in there let's uh, wait for the uh, clankers little I, I can't remember this 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 part of the fish has a has a word and I cannot remember it uh, this is one of like the most uh, interesting levels I found because you know you start with Mumbo's Mountain and it's all happy and you know you know it's all colorful and stuff and then you go to Treasure Trove Cove and it's you know it's still all colorful and stuff and then you get to this and it's like wow it's really messed up in here but I think that's that's just gonna give us uh, a Nick and Pokem I, th I think yeah I think that's all it gives you so uh, if, you, if you need one there's one right there now uh, to be honest I I think I know what to do next I think uh, yeah we have to go to the next to the next area actually. Before we do that, let's go down here. There's a bunch of notes we can get down here. Uh, again, you want, you, you want to make sure you have a full uh, 
air before you do this part because you know you might drown you might get stuck you might miss the note and you want to you don't want to go back and stuff like that so you know just make sure you're filled in air and you'll save the uh, pressure of dying so we go nine notes we're ten away from getting all the notes and i think we need only three more jiggies uh three or two no i think it's three all right so yeah uh there is a jiggy is there a jiggy yeah it's on this side over here so what you want to do it's uh go to the right side or, or yeah i guess the right side of uh of Clanker with a little uh, health uh, part, a little health thing is. Oh, I killed that by accident. Again, I totally forgot the thing was there. But hopefully, luckily, we got a new uh, health um, upgrade. So now I don't have to worry as much. I will still die. I forgot what I'm supposed to do. Oh, yeah, you're supposed to uh, jump into this little um, holes here, and you're just supposed to double jump uh, between each one. And you do want to do that because at the end, there's another musical note that, of course, is vital for us to 100% the game. Oh, how did you miss that? How did you miss that, Kazooie? I don't know. There we go, now we got it. So you can see, at the end of this, there's gonna be a musical note that, of course, we need to get. And I think that's it for it. Oh, there's a life out here. And that should be it. Now watch out, because that place is gonna have a an enemy, a baddie. Alright, so now that we're done with that, now we have the underground pipes. And you're like, oh, I'm done up here, what am I supposed to do next? You're supposed to do a bunch of underground pipes. So the one that I'm looking at right now down there, that's the one we came through. But right next to it is going to be an orange one. And this orange one, if I'm not mistaken, is going to give us a Jiggy. I want to say a Jiggy. No, it's a Mamba... Uh, Ikambokum. 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 Again, every time you go into this pipes, you want to make sure you have full health. Just because, again, the you know, precaution, you don't want to die. You know, dying is bad, you know. You're going to waste one of your beautiful lives that you got. So just make sure that you have filled You know, what's the problem with going back up and getting air? Air is good. Uh, this is definitely going to give us a ginger, though. I know that for sure. And this is a loop around uh, uh, around the whole thing. Oh, no, that's the jiggy one. All right. So we did only need one more ginger. And there we go. Now we need two more jiggies. And we're done with this level. And I think we need, like, eight more notes. Uh, this is going to be a loop around. So, you know, just come back up here to the other side. Let's get some air uh, before we uh, embark on the last two or three uh, pipes that we can go through. I think there's only two more that we can get. Yeah, two more. Alright, so let's go through the, uh, this uh, green, which is uh, directly at the back of Clanker. And I think this is going to lead us to another uh, little battle with some deformed crabs, which are quite terrifying, if I, uh, if I should say so myself. Right here. Uh, these guys over here, you're going to see them right now. Bunch of notes here. Snippet mutants are away. Jigsaws is ours. Fight us, you must. They say a lot of S's, but these guys are tougher than usual. Just ground pound them, you'll take them out in one hit. Oh, not like that, because uh, you'll look like a fool. And there's a bunch of notes, I think this is all, all the notes we need to get. And there's four of them, and when you kill all four, all, uh, all four, all, uh, all, 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 all four of them, they'll give you uh, a jiggy. So that's always nice. And there's going to be the ninth jiggy. We're almost done with this level, and uh, record time for myself. The last time I took like like 35 minutes to this level. Uh, but I hopefully, I luckily I remember everything. I forgot to go in busy again and bit uh, on busy again. Shout out to D H G Jeepstorm. Uh, you know. Anyways, uh, let's get all the notes. Yeah, this is definitely all the notes we need to get. And boo, 100 notes, awesome. Now what you want to do is uh, hop on the little uh, platform where the jig is at. Not through there, because you cannot reach it. You want to go to to the pipe over here. Uh, and let's jump over here and let's get let's get all these eggs. And then at the end, let's get a fantastic jiggy. And after this done, we need one more jiggy, and that is right next to uh, this pipe. I think I think it's a blue pipe, if I'm not mistaken. It should be a blue pipe. It should be definitely be a blue pipe. I want to say. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> I wanted to say a blue pipe, but it's not a blue pipe. I uh, I, I failed the all again. It's a yellow pipe. Uh, now for this one, you definitely now uh, now I'm telling you, you need to have full air for this one. I'm not trying to be annoying. You need full air for this one. If you don't have full air, you will drown unless you get absolutely and completely lucky. But as you can see, it's a pretty big path. I was thinking blue because you know at the end of the day, it does turn out to be a little bluish at the end. Uh, and I'm failing at swimming right now. But at the end, it's gonna be our last jiggy, and uh, we're done. That's it. Planker's cavern. <laughs> So again, so as you can see, we have to go all the way back. There's no like popping out again. So just make sure that you have uh, full air, so you know you don't uh, you know you don't waste your time coming down here and losing a life. And that should be it for uh, Clankerns, 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 Clankerns Cavern. And uh, yeah, because we got all 100 notes and we got all 10 jiggies. 
So now, uh, I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. Oh, I, I, I shouldn't, because, you know, I got everything. So, if because if the first time I played this uh, this level, I forgot which which one I came through. It's the one directly in front of Clanker, just because, you know, when we enter the level, we see him, like, eyes to eyes, you know, face to face. So, you know, that's how I remember that. This is the one that you exit through. And uh, I like how there's no, uh, like, exiting. Um, there's no, like, a different, like, a, like a screen change, that's that's called. It's just all one big level, which I really like that. And uh, that's it. Um, yeah, there's nothing more in here. I, I don't. Th I'm, I think I might have missed like a mumbo mumbo token, but uh, you know those are not really. Uh, you know those are plenty of them that you can always uh, pick up. And uh, this this is not how you get back. You have to climb this little stairs over here. Can I climb with? Uh... Oh, I can't. It just switches to banjo. Pretty awesome. So as you can see, I'm gonna get back up here, and these guys are not gonna uh, appear again, which is it's a really. It's really nice because those definitely are annoying because they'll they'll uh, knock you off and that's always annoying. All right, so now to get back, you just gotta jump over here and then double jump and you'll be able to make it back to the exit. And that is it for Clanker's Cavern. Uh, that's it. We finished the level and uh, I want to say there's something else to do. Yes. So uh, let's go unlock the next. Should I unlock the next world? No, I think I'll stop it right here. Nah, uh, should I though? I think I'm missing something though. Let's let's unlock the next uh, musical note. So to leave it on a high note, you know. And then on a positive note, get it? Because musical note door. Oh my god, that was so funny. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. Um, so it's like, when I did doors, I have a 300, bro. Where you at, bro? Where you at, bro? Where you at? Where you at, so Where you at? Where you at? What's up here? I forgot what it is. I, uh, you, you, we want to come here next. Oh, no, no, not there. Not there. No, no. No. Oh, I, I missed him. Alright, I'm going to end the episode right here, guys. I want to thank you guys all for watching this episode of Banjo Gazali. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like below and subscribe for more Benji Kazooie content. My name is Robert, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!